Hi, so for today we are going to continue our discussion all about the 1001 solve integrals. So this will be our part 11 of our 1001 solve integrals. And today's video, for today's video, we're going to solve some trigonometric uh, function, integra integration of the trigonometric functions in our problem. So we have five problems we can see here. This is from number 76 to 80. We still have a long way to go to a number uh, 1000. So... Let's get started. So for number 76, we have to get the integral of cosine of 1 half y dy. So the very first thing that we're going to do is to transform the inside function of the cosine so that we can um, uh, substitute it to a readily integrable um, formula. So we can let u equals 1 half y and get the derivative of u with respect to y that is one half dy and we only have dy in here so that we have two du then we have dy so if i'm going to substitute that so we have integral of cosine of u we let that as our u then we have dy is two du so we can factor out two and then we have the cosine uh, integral of cosine of u du well of course this is cosine u of du. It's readily integrable. We have a formula for the cosine. So the integral of cosine is sine. So we have 2 sine of u plus c. But of course, we have to go back to original variable. So we have 2 sine of d 1 half y plus c. So this will be our final answer in getting the integral of the cosine of 1 half y dy. Okay, so the reason we use u substitution is that because uh, the angle inside the cosine is not purely in terms of y only. It has one half y. Okay, so what we did is we used u substitution to transform this integral into this because this is what we are uh, trying to look for to make this integral readily integrable so we can integrate it. So that's the reason behind using the u substitution. Okay, for number 77, we have cosecant 5t, cotangent 5t. So, for 77, we have the integral of cosecant 5t and then cotangent 5t dt. So, this is readily integrable if the angle inside the cosecant and the cotangent is 5. It's only t, I mean. Letter t only. So, I'm, what I'm going to do is to substitute this uh, again u substitution i'm going to let u as 5t and then derivative of u with respect to d that would be 5 dt so i only have uh, dt in here dt is in here so uh here i mean so i'm going to isolate that so that would be d all over 5 and then we have dt so by u substitution we have cosecant of u that's 5t cotangent of u Okay, and dt is du all over 5. Okay? So, the very purpose of the u substitution is, again, if we are going to look at it, cosecant of u and then cotangent of u, uh, du, it's readily integrable. Okay? That's the very reason why we did the u substitution here. And we know that if you get the integral of this, that would be uh, 1 fifth. One fifth multiplied by negative cosecant u, because the integral of cosecant u cotangent u du is negative cosecant u plus c. So we have negative one fifth cosecant of u plus c, but u we have to substitute it back to its original variable, which is t. So we have five t here plus c. So this will be our final answer for computing this type of uh, problem here. Okay, so for number 78, for number 78, we have the integral of the secant squared 3x dx all over, we have 1 plus 4 tangent of 3x. So as you can see here, we have on the numerator secant squared 3x. And the denominator, we have 1 plus 4 tangent 3x. So, if we can use u substitution first, if we try u substitution, then it's better. 
okay before jumping into conclusions that we need that we need to change it into a certain uh identity let us first try u substitution so if we let u as 1 plus 4 tangent of 3x for of course let let us try to to let that as u the du would be 0 plus 4 the derivative of tangent is secant squared 3x and of course multiplied by the derivative inside the angle tangent that's 3x the derivative of 3x is 3 then we have the x in here so we have du and then 12 secant squared 3x dx okay so that would be our result as you can see we have secant squared 3x dx on the numerator so i have to isolate secant squared 3x dx only here on the right side so dividing both sides by 12 we have du all over 12 and then we have secant squared 3x dx so we can now finally substitute okay so as you can see if we're going to substitute that second squared 3x dx would be du all over 12 all over 1 plus 4 tangent 3x we let that as our u factor out 1 all over 12 and then we have du all over u and that is ln actually ln of the absolute value of u plus c so we have 1 all over 12 and then ln of u we have 1 plus 4 tangent of 3x plus c so this will be our final answer in getting the uh, integral of the secant squared 3x all over 1 plus 4 tangent 3x dx so that will be our answer for this okay so for number 79 it's a little bit tricky for number 79 we have cosine of the ln of x all over x and then dx so it's a little bit tricky okay here in our problem here so we have the cosine we have two we have actually three um functions here present we have an algebraic which is x on the numerator we have trigonometric and inside the trigonometric is we have a natural logarithm so one may think that ah uh, it's actually not a simple use substitution but rather it can be it can fold into the other techniques just like the integration by parts uh, trigonometric substitution whatsoever right but upon upon rearranging the integral okay Let's try to rearrange. We have cosine of the ln of x. And that is multiplied by 1 all over x. And that is dx. So furthermore, if I'm going to do this, dx all over x. And I'm going to choose u as the ln of x inside the cosine. If I'm going to do that, getting the derivative of ln of x is 1 all over x dx. And more so, that is dx all over x and dx all over x we have here and we can simply put use u here in our ln x and then we're good to go okay so what do we do is that we have cosine of u ln of x is u and then dx all over x is simply du okay so it it, it simply means that we are integrating cosine and the integral of cosine is sine of u plus c but u equals ln of x so we have sine of the ln of x plus c so this would be the final answer for our problem 79 okay so that is our answer for problem number 79 last problem for this of video we have for problem number 18 we have the integral of cotangent squared y and then we have dy okay we all know that there is no uh, direct formula in getting the integral of a cotangent squared y okay but rather we are going to use trigonometric identities Pythagorean identities to be exact in order for us to get this recall that uh, cotangent squared y okay and then uh, cotangent squared y plus 1 equals cosecant squared y. So if we're going to isolate cotangent of squared y, we have cosecant squared y minus 1. Okay? And this cosecant squared y is readily integrable. Okay? 
And this negative 1 is also readily integrable. So, if we're going to substitute it, cotangent squared y simply equal to cosecant squared y minus 1 dy. Distribute the integral sign as well as the dy. So, we have cosecant squared, oops, we have cosecant squared y a dy minus, uh, we have integral of dy. So, take note that we have, we have transformed this cotangent squared y into a readily integrable uh, integra integration. So, we have in integral of cosecant squared y would be negative cotangent y. So, we have negative cotangent y, okay? And the integral of neg uh, minus integral of dy would be minus y. And then, of course, don't forget the plus c. Okay, that's it. That is our part 11 of 1001 solve integrals given these problems. So, again, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. I have many tutorials about mathematics. Please tune in. So, thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Ginger Abbott and God bless us all.